Hi, my name is Jamie, and I'm a designer for LEGO Creator and a lead designer for the Direct Exclusives. I've been working for LEGO for, it looks like, six years now, which is pretty remarkable. Uh, and in that time, I get to work on the Creator models and the Direct Exclusives. And for the Creator models, I've worked on, let's see, the first plane I did was uh, Fast Flyers, which is a nice swing-wing airplane. Uh, then I got to work with Morton on the Sonic Boom, which is this large jet with these nice light-up engines in the back. And then, more recently, it's actually one of the smallest models I've done. It's just a tiny plane that comes in one of the Creator cans, the Minis. And it's just called Mini Plane, but it's just kind of a fun little plane. And the cool thing today is that I get to go from that Mini Plane, which is quite small, to one of the largest planes that I've ever worked on which is 10226 Sopwith Camel, and this is a direct exclusive which is coming your way really soon. So working on this and getting to design it was a real treat. Uh, some of you super fans may know that we've actually done a Sopwith Camel before, uh, several years past, but that was more of a visual model. It was just uh, beautiful to look at, but it didn't have any functionality. The cool thing about this is when we're redoing a model, just like when Star Wars does an X-Wing fighter for the third or fourth time, uh, this is the second time we do this, and we really want to make sure that it's some extra something above and beyond what we've done before. And with this one, we've changed the color scheme, which you probably noticed has a nice dark color scheme, and it has some uh, nice dark tan uh, colors. These are highly desire desired colors that the fans have really requested. Um, and we actually want to take it a step further. So in addition to the color scheme, you also get functionality. And this is where I get very really excited because the Sopwith Camel actually functions like the real Sopwith Camel. You actually have these flaps on the wings and in the flaps on the back, which actually function from the joystick in the cockpit, which for me is super cool. And what's even better is that we didn't do it with Technic gearing or these rods or gears or something. We actually used string, which is kind of crazy that we even took that approach. But we did go just like the real airplane and use string, which transitions up here to the wing and then it goes back down. So you're controlling two flaps on either side and then you have the ones in the back and that's all from the joystick. So for me, this was a super huge treat and a nice challenge to work on. So for cool elements in the model, in addition to getting lots of string, which we very rarely get to include string in our models because it's, it's quite uh, expensive and it's a little bit difficult to use sometimes, but this is a model that's for older kids, so it's for 14 year olds, and so we can include the string so you get that. We also have some nice drum lacquered or some nice shiny uh, elements on the front, and we have these new uh, one by one round slopes, which I think are going to be uh, highly desired by the fans. And then we're introducing the one by one brick in dark tan, which for some of you, you're like, mm, that's nice. But for some others, you'll be jumping up and down right now because that was on our top 10 list of uh, elements that fans want. Uh, and we, get you, we give you quite a few of them. We also try in this model to uh, avoid stickers wherever possible. The labels are nice and they enhance the model, but we've really tried to minimize them so that way they're not too much of a, of a hassle. Um, even going to the point that we brick built the back here. So we have a flap that you can actually, or a rudder, that you can actually move back and forth, and it's all brick built. So you get lots of cool bricks. And one last one I can mention is probably the 8x16 plate, uh, which you can use for the architecture sets. And now I'm seeing just on top of it also the 1x3 tile. And you get a lot of those. So uh, hopefully lots of elements that the fans will really enjoy. So when we were looking at doing the Sop with Camel as a, a reimagined or re-envisioned model, um, one of the things we had to really consider is the scale. And there were actually two things on this model that helped set the scale. And the first one was the engine, because the engine is really one of the more powerful things that you see on an airplane. And on this one, it's a crazy engine that's so powerful that pilots talked about how taking off, it would want to just crash into the ground right away. <laughs> Which, why you would design a plane like that, I'm not sure, but it's really fun to do. So we had this big engine, and then we had the string, which was also because of the functionality. We wanted to make sure that the string worked on the flaps. And that allowed us to make a bigger wingspan, uh, which is uh, more true to the original aircraft. And then we actually have uh, a nice wide body to give you a, a comfortable airplane uh, that you'd be able to fly around with, which you might see me late at night in my apartment uh, making the sound effects and zoom flying around. In case you see the creator web tips, you might also recognize my sounds. But uh, we're actually really proud of this plane, and we really think that you guys are going to enjoy it, and that you're going to not only fly it around your house, but you're going to want to show off your functionality uh, to your friends as soon as you get it. So I hope you guys get your hands on uh, the new Sopwith Camel.